Hey everybody, welcome back to the next part in my dialing in series for our Line 6 Helix and today I'm taking a look at one of the new amp models that we have recently received from the fine folks at Line 6 in our uh, 3.0 Helix firmware update, which is for Helix HX Stomp and Helix Native. And this amp model is the US Princess amp model, which is a model of a Fender Princeton reverb. I was really excited about this and I talked about this. Some of you maybe uh, saw my video on my top five new favorite features. Uh, in the 3.0 firmware, and this was one of them. I was really excited about this amp. Uh, I've always liked this amp in real life, and the Line 6 folks have really done it justice in this update. So I wanted to do a quick dialing in. Now, this is a little bit different because as of today also, you will notice that I have my US Princess Ultimate preset available for sale in the Line 6 marketplace. So what I thought I would do is do kind of a strip down one snapshot version of it for this dialing in. This will be free up on Custom Tone. If you guys wanted to go grab my full featured uh, US Princess Ultimate preset, what it is, it's a four snapshot preset uh, going from clean to push to overdrive to lead with a full, full array of effects uh, blocks with it. Uh, chorus, flange, you name it, it's all in there. A couple reverbs, delay, uh, really, really nice. And I'll give you a, uh, example of that later using this uh, clean preset with some of the effects uh, as, a, as kind of a sound demo later in this video. But for now, let's come over and take a look at what I did just for the stripped down dialing in video. So what I have here is my normal kind of template that I always use. So I start at the end here with my LA Studio Comp. Pretty typical settings for me, peak reduction at five, gain at five, mix at 100%. Uh, depending on how much peak reduction you want, you can raise or lower the peak reduction up to you know six or whatever you need, or maybe you want less of it, go lower than that, okay? Um, I also have my normal parametric EQ, which is really not being used for anything other than a low cut at 100 hertz, high cut at 10 kilohertz. For this one, because I'm kind of dealing with a clean sound here, I went with a really nice big hall reverb to give this a bit of a lush sound when we turn it on. Decay setting of eight, pre-delay at 22 milliseconds, uh, low cut at 166 hertz, high cut at three kilohertz, and a mix of 35%. I've also added in a transistor tape delay, as I often like to do. Uh, note sync set to quarter note, feedback at 23%. Uh, mix around 27%. I have a low and high shelf EQ uh, with the low and high frequencies both set at 650 hertz. All the frequencies below that pulled back by 3 dB, all the frequencies above that boosted by 2 dB. Now, if you notice here, I have used two cabinets and I, I was kind of messing around with two of the new cabinets we get with the 3.0 firmware update as well to go along with the US Princess amp, and that's the 110 US Princess cab and also the 112 US Princess cab. So what I did is I went with the 112 US Princess cab with a 121 ribbon mic, a distance of four inches, and I took the low and high cutoff simply because I'm doing that in my EQ at the end. And then I paired that up with a 110 US Princess with an 84 condenser mic, two inches back, low and high cuts turned off. But then I, I put that on a split AB path and I kind of ruled it more towards the 110 cabinet with a setting of about B35, okay? And I'll show you what this sounds like in a couple different ways. So for now, let's do this. Let's turn our compressor, our EQ, our reverb, our delay, and our high and low shelf off. We'll come to our amp, and here are the settings I ended up with in the US Princess. We have drive, bass, middle, treble, Presence channel volume master, Sagham ripple bias, bias X. Didn't touch any of the deeper functions. Master was on 10, channel volume on 10. Presence on zero, treble on five, mids cranked to 10, bass on five, and I went with the drive on 2.7. So if we get rid of everything else I did to this, just through the two cabinets, well actually let's do this first. Let's go listen to it. I'm gonna go, we'll remember our setting of B35, but I'm gonna go all the way over to A100 and listen to what the 112 US Princess cab with the 121 ribbon four inches back sounds like. And I'm using a combination of my split bridge and my middle position on my uh, Vigier Excalibur guitar, my new favorite guitar. So this is what this sounds like.
Okay, if I go to say the uh, bridge pickup. Neck pickup. Okay, so nice sound there. What happens if we roll that all the way over to the US Princess 110 with an 84 condenser two inches back? That's still the neck pickup, bridge pickup. And go back to that split between the middle and the, the split bridge pickup. Okay, so now if I take that and I roll that back to the B35 setting that I ended up with in the finished product, it sounds like that. Neck pickup. And bridge pickup. Okay, so I really like that balance between those two cabs. So let's go to the end now and turn on the compressor and see what that does for us at these settings. Bridge pickup. Neck pickup. So I was liking that. We'll put the low and high cuts on that I added. That's the only thing I added from the parametric. Right now, let's bring the reverb in, and this is where this kind of really comes to life. I go back to that split between the middle and the bridge. So I was really liking what that did to it. Now, now that we have that, let's go to our low and high shelf and see what this does to the sound. So a lot of different tones there with the different pickup selection. I really was liking what that was doing to it. And I'll add the delay in last but not least. And it gives a beautiful big lush sound.
So I was really happy with the way that that came out sounding and I'm blown away by this amp model. Now the really nice thing about that too though is there is a little bit of gain on tap. If we go to our bridge pickup and start raising up the drive, let's say to five, and even higher. we max that out. Neck pickup. So now I want to play for you just a little snippet of the demo video I did for my US Princess Ultimate preset that's now available on Line 6 Marketplace. Like I mentioned before, this is a full featured preset. It's got a full array of effects and four snapshots, including this snapshot, but with more effects. So I hope you guys like this. Take a little listen to it and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, what'd you guys think? So that's from my US Princess Ultimate preset, which is now available in Line 6 Marketplace. This one will be up on Custom Tone for free. It's just the clean setting, the clean channel, as the same as in the uh, Ultimate preset, uh, but without all the effects that come along with uh, the actual Ultimate preset. So I hope you guys enjoy this one for free, and I hope you guys uh, go pick up the Marketplace preset as well and enjoy that one as well. I think it, uh, I was really, really happy with the way it came out, and uh, I think you heard in the demo that it, it actually sounds pretty nice used in the mix and a lot of possibilities with those effects and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed this amp model. I'm blown away by it. And the folks at Line 6 did a really great job uh, implementing this particular amp model into the new firmware. And once again, raising the level of the Helix up with all the wonderful new features. So I'll be back soon with some more 3.0 content and just some more content in general. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like the video and share it with anybody who you think would get some use out of it. And uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. Uh, and I'll be back soon with some more content that hopefully you guys will enjoy. Thanks again for your time and for tuning in. Ciao for now.